up everyone, it's Eric from LED Grow Lights Devo. I'm gonna be unboxing, assembling, reviewing, and part testing the Horticulture Lighting Group HLG 600H LED Grow Light Kit. This kit comes with everything you need except for the wire snippers or scissors and a screwdriver. No soldering is required. Expect this kit to take around 30 minutes to put together. The kit includes four QB288 V2 quantum boards with top-in Samsung LM301B diodes, one Inventronics EUD600 driver, solid core wire, Wago connectors and a waterproof AC cable connector, hardware, hanger clips, one 8-foot power cord and 120 volt NEMA 515P plug. If you're connecting this to 240 volts, then you'll need to cut off the plug and wire the appropriate plug for your application or country. And one pre-drilled aluminum heat sink. The light doesn't come with a potentiometer or dimmer. We recommend purchasing one of these at a local electronics store, hardware store, or online. You'll need a zero to 10 volt dimmer or 50K ohm potentiometer. Okay, let's get this put together. The first step is gonna be connecting the driver to the heat sink. So to do that, I'm gonna turn the driver upside down and place the heat sink upside down on the driver. Then I'm gonna take the long screws and the nut and connect the driver to the heat sink. I'm gonna do that on both sides of the driver. Just tighten that down. And these are legs which are going to act as spacers between the quantum boards and the surface that I'm building the fixture on. I'm going to flip this over and just tighten these screws down. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, looks good. I'm going to flip this back over on the driver and clean the heat sink with alcohol and a swab. The point of doing this is to remove the grease and the dirt, specifically dust, from the heat sink. I'm going to do the same thing with the, each of the quantum boards. Now make sure everything's dry before you put the quantum boards onto the heat sink. So I'm going to wipe this off. Also, you might want to let it air dry. The next step is placing the quantum boards onto the heat sink. Notice the orientation of the boards as I put them on. Current flows from positive to negative, so it's very important that the boards are oriented in a particular way. To secure the boards, we're gonna use a small black screws. Each board's gonna take eight black screws, so that's 32 screws total that you're gonna to have to put into the boards. You want the screws snug, but you don't wanna tighten them down really, really hard because this might damage the boards. And you're also going to have some screws left over at the end of this. All right, boards are secure. Now let's start wiring. Since we're already on the side, let's start here. The first boards that I'm going to connect are the ones on the right side of the screen. So I'm going to use a little piece of wire to do this. You don't want to cut the wire too long, otherwise you're going to have wire everywhere. But you also don't want to cut it too short, otherwise the wires aren't going to reach. The second piece of wire is going to connect the two top boards. When using the wire strippers or cutters, you're going to want to expose about a quarter inch to a half inch of wire at each end, so the wire makes a good connection. The last piece of wire is going to connect the two boards on the left, so it's going to be similar to that first piece of wire that we put in. The circuit's almost complete. We just have to connect the bottom two boards to the driver. That's gonna be the positive connector on the right side and the negative connector on the left side. I'm gonna flip the heat sink over, ensuring that the feet on each corner of the heat sink are extended far enough so that the connectors don't make contact with the surface. Next, cut two pieces of wire of equal length. These wires are gonna connect the DC end of the driver to the quantum boards. We're gonna use these Wago connectors, which makes the connecting really easy. So all you do is put the wire in, shut the clip, then we're gonna do that on the DC end of the driver, making sure red and red match. Now the black wire, onto the blue wire of the driver. Now you're gonna take these two wires and feed it through the hole at the edge of the heat sink. 
Let's flip over the heat sink, pull the wires through, and then make sure the red wire is going towards the positive connector and the black wire is going towards the negative connector. Push the wires into the connectors and now the entire DC side of the unit is complete. Now we have to hook up the AC side. But first, take a look at what this looks like when it's all connected. The last major step to get this unit working is to install the power cord. So to do this, we're gonna take it out of the wrapper and notice these three wires coming out from the other side. These are a little long, so I'm gonna snip them up. And then just like what we did with the DC side, we're gonna do it with the AC side. So connect these Wego connectors to one side and then just match the wires. So green to green, black to black, and white to white. And finally, since we have these wire hangers in the box, I'm gonna take them out of the plastic bag and install them. From here, assuming that you wired everything correctly, you can plug the light in and it should light up. This is 620 watts of super efficient LED light shining right at you. And finally, I'm gonna take a potentiometer and hook it up to the dimming leads on this light. So remember what I said at the beginning of this video, that this fixture doesn't come with a dimmer or potentiometer. So you're gonna to have to purchase one separately. Check the link in the description to find one on Amazon. For my application, we're not going to use a potentiometer or dimmer, nor are we going to use these other wires coming out of the Inventronics driver. Therefore, I'm going to tape these up with electrical tape just to get them out of the way. All right, that's it. Let's get this set up in the tent and I'll tell you a little bit about it. The fixture comes with a recommended 3000 Kelvin full cycle or flowering spectrum. You can flower up to a 5x5 area or veg a 7 foot by 7 foot area with this fixture. This light also works great for flowering a strong 4x4 area. One kit will replace the light intensity of about a 1200 watt HID grow light. The HLG 600H measures 29 inches by 15.5 inches by 3.5 inches. The 620 watt driver powers the four V2 quantum boards comprised of a total of 1,152 Samsung LM301B diodes. I measured the wattage draw at the wall and got just over 620 watts. At this wattage, expect a PAR efficacy of around 2.4 micromoles per joule and a total light output of around 1,500 micromoles per second. The hanging height varies by application. If you're vegging at full intensity with this light, expect about a 40 inch hanging height. If flowering at full intensity, I would not recommend moving this light closer than about 24 or 30 inches. Using a dimmer or potentiometer during veg is ideal to reduce the intensity of the light. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a reflective 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. Let's see those readings now. This first measurement's at 48 inches. I'd recommend this height for veg. Right at 48 inches, we're hitting just under 600 PPFD. Then on the edge of the tent, looks like just above 500. And into the corner, just keeping that intensity just under 500. So you can veg at a closer height, but you probably want to hook up a potentiometer to get those lower intensities because this is quite a lot of light for a 4x4 area veg. Those numbers look really good though. The second measurement is going to be at 36 inches. And that looks like around 750 PPFD right in the center of the 4x4 footprint. So pretty good intensity right at 36 inches. And then moving to the side, 600 PPFD and into the corner. It's holding that intensity pretty well still, about 550 PPFD. So you could flower at this intensity, it's still a little bit low. I'd probably recommend dropping it down a little bit closer, which 
is gonna be my last measurement right at 24 inches. So I'll show you that intensity and why you don't wanna move closer than 24 inches. But really good uniformity for this light because of the distance. At lower hanging heights, you're gonna get low uniformity, but at higher hanging heights, you're gonna get higher uniformity. And finally, our last measurement at 24 inches. So just under 1200 PPFD. For most people, this is gonna be a little high, maybe too high, which you know can start uh, burning your plants. So I'd recommend somewhere between 24 inches and 30 inch hanging height for flower. Moving it to the edge looks like we're right around 700 PPFD. And then into the corner, about 600 PPFD. So that center number was a 1200, that corner is about 600. So that's about a 50% drop in intensity. But still 600 PPFD for the corner is pretty darn good. I'm gonna move the sensor around the tent to show you what sort of PAR numbers we're getting in different areas. Looks like we're hitting 700, 800, 900 plus PPFD. On average, these numbers are really good for flowering. In the very rare case that you have a problem with your HLG 600, the fixture comes with a one year manufacturer's warranty. It's a short warranty, but keep in mind that it comes to you unassembled and the parts are of good quality. It's unlikely that anything fails, but if you had to replace a part, it's modular, so you can easily do so. Now, how do I rate this light? Well, the quality parts, specifically the quantum boards and driver, the light output and efficacy makes this fixture easily over $1,000 assembled. However, for the actual price tag, it's a really good deal. So click the link in the description to view the price and or purchase this fixture. Check out the other links in the description for the other powerful HLG kits that we offer. Currently the HLG 260 watt kit and the HLG 320 watt kit. Give this video a like and subscribe for more reviews, giveaways, and awesome LED content. And for all of you subscribers, we have more great content planned for you in 2019. So stay tuned. Follow us on Instagram too, link in the description. See you guys.